What's up, Jeezy Fishing? Uh, today we are in a s small parking lot. We're going to be showing you guys why you should buy this product. This is the Reddington Form Fly Practice Caster. And now basically the idea of this is it's something that's really small and you can use to kind of just improve your form for fly casting. So all it comes with is this nice little, I think three foot rod, maybe four feet, uh, and a certain amount of fly line that goes directly to a tapered leader, which is also made of fly line, so it's strong. There's no tippet. Um, but there's like a, it's like still green fly line. It's not monofilament, but it's like it tapers, and then it goes directly into a hookless piece of wool. Uh, and so basically, the whole idea is it, it enables you to practice your fly casting in spaces where you really wouldn't normally be able to, such as your hallway or parking lot, like we're in here. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the downsides and comparing it to an actual fly rod. All right, now, so the biggest difference that I feel between the fly or the form rod and the fly rod actually is the length of the rod. So the idea with the form rod is it's really it's really short because you aren't really trying to get that long long cast because you just you're just casting you don't have enough line to cast that far. So the idea is it's for a hallway or for somewhere small and tight where you normally wouldn't be able to fly cast, but you can. And somewhere more outdoors and more open, I prefer to, the fly rod just because it's longer uh, and it's basically what I'm going to be using out on the water so I can really get used to that. Right, so the other big difference that I feel is definitely the weight. So the weight of the fly rod, again, because of the length and also because you've got a reel here. Uh, so to be fair, the reel, the, the rod and reel are balanced a little bit so it's, you don't feel that much weight difference. But there is a, a bigger weight difference between this and that than it should be. That is my, honestly, my biggest problem with it is the fact that that doesn't 100% replicate the feel of the fly rod. And it really shouldn't, but it doesn't, it doesn't even get really close. So that's my biggest problem with it. But overall, the form rod is just amazing because I've, I've managed to, from going, like, to roll, making roll casts is my farthest cast to making full on double hauling casts. Like I didn't know how to double haul until I used that. So that's definitely a really good purchase. Uh, so let's get into some games that you can use with that and also with the fly rod. So yeah, let's get into that. All right, so now there's two things that you're gonna wanna need. You want to have this thing, the form rod, and also just an old hula hoop or something that's round and open and flat. So if the first game is like, there are, all these games are basically the fly fishing version of basketball games. So you've got around the hoop, a trout, and any other games that you can make up. So you really, that's up to you. So the, the idea with trout is you get yourself a partner, uh, and then you basically, it's horse, but with a fly rod. So the idea of the game is you find a spot and you can you can customize the amount of uh, false casts that you want. You could say, oh, it can't hit anything behind you. You could say it can't hit the ground once or it can't hit the ground once, all that stuff. And basically, you try and get it into the hoop. So let's see if I can do that here. All right, so I missed. So then it would be the other person's turn. And if you get it, then you stand here. Or then the other person comes to the same place that you were. And if they can't make it with the same rules that you designed for them, then they get a letter. First one to spell trout loses, uh, so that's the first game. The other one is called around the hoop. So you designate, you put the hoop a little bit more in the middle. You designate about four or six spots, somewhere between that, that go uh, in a circular motion around the hoop and you go to each one until you make it. Then you go to the next one and the first person to make it all the way around wins. All right, so just, Oh, as an overall recap, for 30 bucks, this thing is an absolute steal. So if you want to use our link down in the description below, it is there. 
uh, that's a, um, an affiliate link, so if you use that, we get a cutback of it. It's no more expensive for you guys. It just helps the channel out. This was not by any means a sponsored video, so the company did not reach out to us to make this. It's just we, we had this product, and we were like, damn, this is really cool. We got to share this with you guys. So, yeah, see you guys. Why did I see, see you guys? All right. All right, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you guys are enjoying a bunch of Jay-Z fishing videos, consider subscribing. It lets you guys know when you guys, when we post a video. Uh, so that's just helpful for you guys. It helps us out in the YouTube algorithm, helps us grow, helps us reach more people so we can give them helpful content like this. Also, January, for the month of January, we are dropping sick, sick merch. Joe will put them right up now. All right. Those are amazing designs that me, Joe, and Zach each designed for you guys. So from January 1st through January 31st, they are going to be up. Um, so go get them. I mean, they're going to only be up until January 31st at like 8 p.m. So before then, you can get them. Otherwise, they'll be gone forever. So if you guys want to help bring in the new year with a high note, go pick up some new Jay-Z fishing merch. Also, we do live streams on YouTube, 4 to 4.30. If you subscribe and you click the notification bell, it will let you know when we're live streaming, so you don't got to worry about that. Uh, go follow our socials, Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Favory, all that stuff. Go follow them. Yeah, see you guys.